Hey, Jesse France here with another part of episode one, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Uh, class, last time we were, on me. we, we uh, told David off um, after making some pretty rude comments regarding Chloe, like taking, having a vacation from a father and stuff like that. And then we spent most of the episode playing with uh, these two right here, Steph and Mikey, uh, playing some... Uh, basically a tabletop game, uh, sort of like Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this episode, I'm going to kind of wander around this courtyard a little bit more, and then we're going to head towards the school and try to get to our chemistry class. Uh, so let's see what all we I'm can get into today. I'm out excuses to stay out here. All right, let's speak Must to this guy. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high, and completely preventable. Uh, I mean, wildfires are not awesome. I mean, obviously, I feel like wildfires are definitely something that is a concern, especially things that go on in uh, the western part of the country, in California, and even in Canada and stuff. Uh, we'll just ask him, uh, why are you doing this? This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna say later. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Uh, anything to get out of class. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? Uh, let's um, let's be a classic Chloe. Happy to support such an important cause. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Yeah, we're not the only ones who were kind of jerks about it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I actually do uh, approve of the whole thing. I think it's a, it's a good uh, cause, but we are playing as Chloe. Thanks so much for signing my petition. Smokeweed D. Bear? Only you can prevent ganja fires. Eh. We kind of upset him, but like I said, I, you know, before, whenever I played this, I kind of played it, you know, with my personality where I'm kind of, I guess, it's, I guess you could say I'm a goody two shoes. Um, we're playing here as, as Chloe Price, not as, All right, Chloe. not as Jesse Franks. So, won't bore itself. Uh, we're going to look around a little bit more. Um, before I did not, whenever I played this before, I did not talk to Skip. So let's see what he's got to say about stuff. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicapped parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. Uh, let's talk to him about our firewalk so, show. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait. You saw a firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. Yeah, I mean, any good music? What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called of course you are. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but... Miss Head, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. I mean, I guess I'll give him uh, props for an interesting name. Uh, sure thing. I'm probably going to have yeah, to edit okay. it out, though, for copyright Great. reasons. 
So, what did you think? It's actually pretty good. I liked it. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe. Thanks. All right. Uh, let's talk to Miss Grant. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today? Uh, let's say I don't want to ruin the mystery. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Hmm. You know, my thing is, is that it seems like any more nowadays, the arts are what is getting kind of left behind. You know, music, actual art, photography, things like that seem to be the ones that aren't getting the funding. And it seems like science and mathematics and stuff are getting more, um, which isn't a bad thing that they're getting funding but the th you know thing is is both of them should equally get funding they're both equally important for you know children college students and anybody really to learn uh but you know honestly you kind of have to have the arts to support you know the the stem programs too and stuff so we're just going to say that look at it this way miss grant more art classes will keep all the smug self-absorbed types out of your science classroom articulate as always I don't know if she appreciated that as much, but, you know, I, I was trying to be nice. Uh, let's see what else we can get into. Oh, oh. If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for Mom to sick David on me. Yeah, yeah, you've said that before. Um, what else we got here? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Say no to drugs. Winning while doping isn't winning at all. It's a quick trip to deep end of failure. Kind of an odd uh, campaign, but I mean, they, they has a good purpose. <laughs> no sucking on tampons. It's the law. Uh, sure. Um, are we, no, we're not going to smoke. Okay, that's one thing. I'm just like, yeah, no. I'm officially out of excuses to stay out here. We're not out of Less excuses yet. Chemistry time. Uh, anything up here? Let's sit down probably have a thinking moment. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Hmm. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to Firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Mm. I'm gonna get up now. Oh, of course. Principal Wells. Hey. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm, uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. 
You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Ah. What's a... I guess either one's a smart-ass answer. How many minor infractions in a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero-tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? I mean, there are only drugs on me now because I didn't buy any from Frank. That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? You know what? I didn't really... I mean, yeah, I got on the thing, but I, he has no reason to attack me right now. I mean, just tell me, get off and be done. So, actually, no. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah. So you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Uh, my well is deep. Sir, my well of witticisms runs so deep that you would get trapped at the bottom and never make it out alive. Jokes? In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Who's guilty now? Or before? Uh, who's guilty now? Sorry, Wellsy, but you've fallen right into my trap. I've been recording this entire conversation for my blog about human rights abuses at Blackwell. You have a blog. Hold on. What abuses have you endured? You know, I've had to talk to you for like two minutes. That's a long time. We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. The Prescott's I policy? I wonder if the Prescott's might reconsider their donation if Blackwell's principal is being sued for harassment. How do you know about the Prescott donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we, uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. That's an understatement. Okay, so I think we've talked to pretty much everybody we can out here, so we're going to go ahead. Oh, what's this? Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. <laughs> I love flowers. Mm. The danger rating. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. <laughs> Fire danger rating, so it's high. That means it's that time of year. Heaven's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. Like I said, good calls, good calls. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours! Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. <laughs> you're both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. 
Dick move, Nathan. My dad True. lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. I mean, they're both being assholes. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. Like, why is it my problem? <sighs> but we'll step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. I mean, they're both assholes, but still. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off. Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Nathan's an easy target. How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. I'm crazy, that's true. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? No. Uh, piece of your bromance? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy Cares picture. Cares if they're girls. <laughs> Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? It's fine. <laughs> no problem, Skip. All right, let's get inside the school. Finally. Oh, we just got a thing from Mom. What does she have to say? I don't like how thing how we left things. We'll talk more tonight. Perfect. Is that a sarcastic perfect? No. Yeah, it's hard to tell with Chloe. All right. Just get in here and. All right, Chloe. Better head in. Chemist. Hello, Rachel Amber. Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. <laughs> that looks like Keaton. she has a crush on Hayden Sorry there. Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? 
Well, here's my thing. With most old plays, it always seems like they are kind of stupid going into things. But I hate to say Miranda's an idiot because I do believe in love at first sight. It can happen. Um, so, you know, I don't want to say Miranda's an idiot, but I don't know if it's true love. But we're going to go with it's true love just to see what kind of response we get. Sometimes when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow, a romantic and a cynic. That actually kinda helps me. Thanks. That was Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Decent enough later. response. See you later, guys. Oh no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Oh, that does sound awful. <laughs> Matter of fact, for both him and the freshmen. <laughs> yes. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Huh, judging by that clock up there, it looks okay. like their school doesn't start uh, until 9 a.m. Uh, don't see any stupid shit and yeah. don't, like, fall down. It's weird. Should be doable, right? Hey now, sharing is caring. <laughs> uh, let's see what's on this computer. Come on, look at the computer again. Hello, come on. This one's got tricky angles. There we go. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. I wonder why she doesn't have good feelings about it. It's so weird. Kids take themselves so seriously. Read. Rachel Amber playing Prospera. I hope I said that right. A newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking read of Blanche from Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team, boosters fundraising, local history, and nature. Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and silver screen of Hollywood. And then we've got Nathan Prescott playing Caliban. Once again, I hope I'm saying that right. A favorite son of the oldest and most influential family in Arcadia Bay. Nathan hopes this performance of The Tempest will only further the legacy of the Prescott name at Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore who enjoys sports, photography, and, cali and casual hangouts with his many friends. Okay, so Rachel is basically your, your perfect girl obviously you know she's into all the good stuff you know uh, and you know the smart girl the the artistic girl the the beautiful girl you know she's the new girl who everybody admires and stuff and then we've got Nathan who literally is just flying in on his name alone and he probably got this part for his name he's obviously on the football team for his name. The only thing he really probably has going for him is his own photography, which even in the original game, Max says if it wasn't so morbid, it would be impressive. And um, his casual hangouts with his many friends, I don't know at this point the way he's acting if he really has many friends. I, I think really at this point, you know, it's obvious that Samantha might have a crush on him or maybe just wants to be kind to him and i know he's still friends with uh he's friends with victoria at this point too so yeah it's definitely a bunch of bs on his side all right all right let's search your bag rachel looks so happy here There's Rachel's belt. All right, so we got her belt. To Rachel now. Anything else in here to look at? Oh, something here. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. True that. Uh, let's comment. Since we carry that marker around everywhere we go. What to say? What to say? Oh. Yeah. 
So we've got bitter much and slut shaming. Um, we're not going to go into the whole slut shaming thing. It's obvious that Victoria Chase is incredibly bitter of Rachel. Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Yeah, that's very true. Alright, anything else? Nope, can't get back there. Alright, so let's go this way. Oh, and. Got some props. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for. Yeah, I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. The pencil fund? What is that, a button? Pe Pepe? Sweet collar, Pepe. Should be life is drama. Drama is life. Yeah, no, life is definitely drama. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's look. Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. I don't want to graffiti that. That's kind of, you know, we're trying to be friends with Rachel. Oh, sometimes you just got to turn up the heat. <laughs> okay, so apparently all the pencils are missing. I saw something online once about, like, the pencils Less were up on the ceiling. More belts. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only stu- Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm not gonna throw the belt over to her. I did that my first time playing this, and it kind of smacked her in the head. So I'm just gonna take it to her. We're all girls here. It's all good. Not really sure why it's taken her so long to change anyway, but whatever. I guess that suit was pretty tight. Uh, you know, that's creepy to say nothing, and we're gonna say I that's a cool really costume. I your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Eh, just this belt, sorry. Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Yeah, Firework was awesome. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Uh, that's deep, or maybe it doesn't? Uh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Uh, say fuck yes, or has Rachel gone rogue? Um, let's, uh, let's just say fuck yes. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Um... I'm just curious what happens if we say great idea. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hope you have my skin tone. Don't want to look like a clown up in here. Hold still. I mentioned, you know, for Chloe, it's probably a good excuse for Rachel to touch you, touch her, and everything. This is a lot of makeup. What? That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. So we let her put some makeup on us, which was kind of nice. Um, 
You sure you don't want to just grab the? Bus? I kind of feel like or... Chloe may have wanted that nope. battle scar, but Different at the same time, I think she was getting annoyed right. with people bringing it up every five seconds. Well, what the hell am I getting into here? See Max. It'd be nice if they could. <laughs> Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. That it is. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. All right, so Elliot's asking why we weren't in chemistry once it was up Drew, and I'm just telling him we'll talk to him later. Yep. It's pretty much all you need to know. Alright, so let's look around a little bit. Start over here. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. <laughs> I highly doubt that, but morbid thought there. Whoa. Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. Sounds accurate. Uh, let's look Guess at this. we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Casa Grande Unity, which is obviously a, a nod at Unity that you know made the that they made the game on. Aurora Greek or Creek, Aurora Creek. I think I heard something about that was what they originally wanted to name uh, Arcadia Bay, which I think that's a pretty name too. Um, anything else? Jim Bob's a thief. I don't know who Jim Bob is. There's my chair. Things heavier than it looks. Okay. Guess I should sit down. Uh, before I sit down, I want to kind of be nosy. Graffiti. Ah, eh, we might as well. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> and nobody wants Some to be themselves. That's what it says. Train. I don't know. It's pretty, pretty honest. Uh, let's graffiti it. Curious what she'll put. Everybody lies. We are monsters. Hmm. We are monsters. Human is another word for monster. Ain't that the truth? Okay, maybe not entirely, but definitely pretty true. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and sit down. Alright, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I, I make small talk? Is that what people do? <laughs> Her face is like, what the hell do I do? Uh, nice weather. Say no Okay, don't talk about the weather. That's so stupid. Um, say nothing. I think that's kind of weird. Let's kind of be like, uh, you know, what, what's 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 going on, you know? Uh, uh <laughs> so, um, what is wrong with you? Okay, what? maybe. You're acting nervous. So, I mean, she is just another it's girl. Weird Come on. That we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Uh... Thanks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Uh... If you hadn't shown up... Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. 
Ah, uh, it's everywhere. Not mm. just Arcadia Bay. I think it's That's every sure. every large town, every small town. It really don't matter. You came along? You're Are always you gonna have assholes. I a reason to ditch school. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. Uh, yeah. That occurred. Yeah. Well. I was too much of a, a scaredy cat to um, ditch That's school. It? Whenever I was in high school, That's I don't it. even know if I had a senior ditch day. I think it might have actually just been a day that we all chose to stay home. It's not like we all went and actually ditched and went somewhere. It was literally like, oh, it's senior ditch day. There's nothing going on. It's the end of the year. You can just stay home if you want to. Nobody cares. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, I would never ditch school. So, I, I give them, I guess, props. But, hey, if you're, if you're in school, kids, don't ditch. School's important. Um, all right. So... You know, I love company, but you know, I'm gonna need more than that because you're Rachel Amber. You don't skip school. You're the you're the queen of the school. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun. Joy rides to where again? Exactly. Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Sure. <laughs> Let's do something fun. Okay. I, the first time I played this, I did flirt, because I really n think, from what I can tell, Chloe and Rachel may have had a thing, or at least Chloe had a thing for Rachel, and I want to kind of just agree, but flirting, the reaction to flirting is actually pretty hilarious. I love Rachel's face, so let's just do it. V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> that face. Too far. <laughs> well, I don't know. You made her laugh, that's what matters. Uh, okay. Something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. A lie? <laughs> right. And then the other person has it to. It kind of speaks for itself. Ah, uh, you know what? It sounds fun. I, it I sounds would play fun. that game totally with You're somebody on. I didn't know. Um, one to become friends with. Kind of a good uh, icebreaker, really. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Cool. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. It, it costs money to travel. travel I've not been in New York either, and I only go? live like Russia, six hours Greece, away. Kathmandu. Kathmandu. <laughs> One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay, so ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? So, as I've noted many times before, I've already played this episode. I already know that which is the which one is the lie and what are the truths. Um, the first time I played this, I think I chose ambidextrous. I don't know why, because obviously. Rachel is a Cali girl, so we're just we're gonna go ahead and pick the right answer, which is New York is a lie. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've, I've only been on the East Oregon, Coast, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and start out with the truth. Alright, country music makes me throw up. I wanted to be a pirate as a kid. I love science. Let's throw her off. I love science. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. 
Uh. All right, let's throw a lie in there. I broke my hand punching someone. I'm allergic to cats. I'm in a band. Let's say I broke my hand punching someone. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. And should we tell her another lie or tell her truth? I feel like, you know, trying to start a new friendship, you shouldn't cheat at the game. Um, I kind of get the idea of why they wanted to do this. They want to show how smart Rachel Amber is and everything. But I'm going to just play the game, honestly. So let's tell her our last truth. And I'll say country music makes me throw I up. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's weird and it's obvious why it's because her dad liked country music and now it upsets her to hear it i can You're understand hella mysterious chloe price uh hella <laughs> who says that it's a cali thing anyway i think i have your number i'm not sure why country music makes you throw up i'm a complex girl rachel and i think it's probably true also, I kind of like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's <laughs> David? I will just be like, it's my mom's boyfriend. He's, ah, uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Uh oh. And you don't like him? No. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom... <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. What? What do you mean? You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. <laughs> oh, God. A muscle car? Hey, I'm they're all the muscle cars. Soon, so, let me know if you need an accomplice. <laughs> Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? Sure. <laughs> sure. It's not for everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. <laughs> but, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. <laughs> How could you know that? How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. <laughs> so... If my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. 
You know what? I'm impressed. I mean, some people are just well, really good at telling I'm other people's, you know, I bet it's hard to impress Clint honesty Price. and stuff. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. It hey, that is true. Thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's and see, not I think a that's good. Deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Let's say trust is hard. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Okay, so here I'm going to have to cut out because it's uh, copyright music, but obviously I'm going to share with Rachel because it'd be weird to listen to music alone. Like, sitting there with your friend or even uh, somebody you're trying to be friends with and be like, I'm just going to stick these ear pods in my ear and be awkward, so we'll share. Hey, want to listen? I have to say that one thing about this game is the music is really, really nice. It's very beautiful music. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. <laughs> I hear you on that. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Yeah. Jump! Fuck it! actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Not much of an actor. I am no, not much of an all actor. The world's a stage and shit, but I'm not an actor. Really? I see you acting like you're tough all the time in school. I that's Damn it. <laughs> this it's definitely true that that's all an act. Spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. <laughs> uh. 
that blows. Well, shit. <laughs> Pretty much. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel okay. really wants to- Sorry about Drew, not your fault. My brother's not always an asshole, just most of the time. Forget it. Yeah. I think he has his reasons. I mean, he shouldn't have been treating... He shouldn't treat anybody the way he was treating Nathan, even though we know what Nathan kind of turns out to be. But he does have his reasons because I think he feels like he doesn't have much, you know... That he feels like he's being... His team is, like, getting taken over by the Prescotts. Nathan Prescott's being added to the team out of money whenever he made it there on pure talent and his dad lost his job because of the press gods and it, it's a whole mess so i totally get it so let me see here got some things oh i guess just added a bunch of like people to our uh thing and is there anything here hmm you know, things with mom seem like they couldn't get any worse. Ha, the sad truth is I suddenly have to choose between being nice or being honest with her because I can't be both. But how can I be honest with her about mustache, about her lashing at me for it? And why am I the only one concerned about this hostile takeover of her house? Today it's a toolbox and pot roast. Tomorrow it's... I should stop there for Sandy's sake. It seems like I always have to be sneaky now, even when I'm trying to help. The slipping money into her purse this morning. Or light trip slipping money into her purse this morning. Also, mom knows I've been skipping, which sucks, but in a way, it makes me feel better about it. Does that make me a bad person? That I don't feel bad about fucking off? Just relieved that I don't have to waste the energy to lie about it anymore? On second thought, don't answer that. Chloe, the no good, very bad person. Chloe, you're not a bad person. You're just a kid who got in a shitty situation. All right. So, the mustache drove me to school today. Yep, that's what my life's become. Even worse, he thought the ride was a tell-me-how-things-are-gonna-be-from-now-on opportunity. I shut that shit down real quick, but I have a feeling he's gonna run crying to mom about it because that's the kind of little man baby he is. Had a dream about that again. The one where I was there when it happened. It seems to get harder and harder after each of these to remember what's real and what's not. All I can remember after I wake up is how much I miss him. I hope that never goes away. The Chloe who wasn't there. Or was I? Definitely, you know, hard. Have I ever told you about Nathan Prescott, aka Spoiled Dick Baby? Anyway, you know that old question about what if you could go back in time and assassinate Hitler? Well, I worry I just stopped that assassina assassination when I got between Nathan and that ass beating by Drew in an ass beating by Drew, football jock, an all around angry teenager. Maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. Spoke to Elliot too, he's super nice as always. He wanted to hang out, as always, and I was non committal committal as always poor guy super persistent it must be hard trying to give a shit about me speaking of giving a shit i actually played a game with steph and mikey this morning it wasn't terrible but i'm not sure i have the energy to consistently care that much about anything i probably should be concerned about how little a shit i give these days but that would mean but that would mean giving a shit wouldn't it chloe the catch catch 22 okay i get it I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, when is she finally going to talk about Rachel Amber? Fine, he nosy bitch. Here it is. Rachel Amber is the most popular girl at school, and she's super into hanging out with me all of a sudden. Like this morning, when she pulled out, pulled me out, pulled me into, gosh, I can't talk, guys, pulled me into the drama lab and asked for my expert opinion about true love in front of the whole class. I told her true love is the best way to get parents to buy tickets. Mr. Keaton, the drama teacher, seemed to agree. The rate... Then Rachel brought me into her dressing room. Gotta say, that was the quickest I've gone from meeting someone to helping them get dressed. <laughs> but that's Rachel. She doesn't give a fuck. She just lets it all hang out. Then Rachel hatched this crazy plan for us to skip school together. That involves jumping onto a train, you know, like kids ditch school in the 60s, the 1860s. Stay tuned, Max. I have a feeling there will be a lot more to tell you soon. Chloe, love doctor. <laughs> Did we ever play Two Truths and a Lie? You would have been terrible at it. We would have called it Two Truths and... Oh God, can I take it back? Sorry for lying, please. The guilt hurts. <laughs> I was kind of that friend. The truth and a lie should be in a 
should be a class in school. Feel like I learned a lot. For example, Rachel is ambidextrous. She's a Leo. And she's from California. I also learned I still have lots more to learn about lying. Rachel read me like an open book. She saw right through my yoo face-punching story. Basically, she's a human lie detector. Have mentioned that we were on a train. It was pretty cool sitting there and watching the world fly by. Then we jumped off it and would end and would uh, wound up in some crazy-ass park north of town. Captain Chloe Bluebeard, Scourge of Arcadia Bay. Alright, so that's the end of her, her current diary. I realized I never really looked at her diary um, after the beginning of the game before, and that, it's interesting to see how she's still writing to Max. I, You know, I... I'm, I, I can kind of relate to Chloe in a certain regard. My mother passed away in a car accident herself whenever I was only a kid. Um, fortunately, my best friend did not move away from me. We we kind of grew a little part, a little bit apart, and we weren't as close as we always were. But she was still always a good friend to me. Um, you know, I made better, or not, I don't want to say better friends, but I made other friends who we became closer to and everything. And uh, so yeah, I kind of get where where Chloe's coming from with her badass attitude and stuff like that. That wasn't the way I r lashed out, but I can definitely see someone lashing out about that. But anyway, um, I'm going to stop here for today, and we'll pick right back up where we were at before. Uh... And, uh, you know, another day, I would like to probably finish this chapter, um... Next time around, I, I believe there's probably enough to make at least one more episode, uh, and that way we can bo all patiently wait for Before the Storm, Episode 2, and uh, I'll actually be able to react, you know, honestly instead of, you know, just kind of going through the motions of this game, because like I said, I really want to play this for my channel, I want to be able to start from the beginning, so um, Episode 2 comes out, it'll be a lot more honest, a lot more, like, cool and everything i'm really looking forward to it. but anyway um for now we're going to leave us here at the park uh next time whenever i come back we will get that quarter out of that machine and we're going to play that acting game and we'll see what chloe and rachel can get into after that so y'all have a good one and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified for any future uh episodes especially before the storm or if you're into jack and daxter resident evil i play in them too on my channel make sure you hit that notification bell so it lets you know when i upload uh y'all have a great day and uh see you later